back did I miss something? Unless you count the worst PvE main event fight I've seen all year, not really no. Alright, going out. I'll have a word with Gogo outside. He was so hyped for that match, he must be devastated. Okay. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi Say. Good evening, Chill. How are you doing? The night must have stopped, so I'm sleeping better. Um, um, how about your injuries? My bones are healing nicely. My wounds finally closed. The scars itch a bit though. Well, that's good to hear. Let's go and see what we can do here. Ah, Hitler. Hitler is a good name. She is just there, so we want to protect. Hä? Hä? Ich sag einfach nix. Die Watch Free Protect ist also wohl offline komisch. Hm. Vermutlich wegen den Aufständen? Kann sein. Are you by yourself today? Yeah, I'm running a couple of errands by myself today, but I wanted to come here for a while. I also noticed a big wave from last time is outside. Buster, Stella doesn't want me being alone while I'm still healing, so she suggested taking him with me. Ah, I see. What can I get you? Something cold. Sure. Something cold for say. Ah, it's easy, ne? Was girly girl, sort of. On the rocks and planet. Yeah. Sunshine cloud. Vielleicht was teures. Oh, wohl nein. Für sie. Mm, großen Sunshine cloud. Ein bisschen Alkohol betäubt. Easy. Here. Yeah, this is the one. Why drink something cold when the weather outside is so cold too? It's not that cold, actually. But I've always had decent tolerance for the cold, so I'm not a good reference. So, Stella isn't with you today. She is throwing a mega Christmas party tomorrow and is having a meeting today. I'm just helping her by checking on some of the things she reordered. And here I was, all ready to invite you to the party we're thinking we're throwing tomorrow. Y you're throwing a party too? Sorry about that, can't really say no to Stella. Maybe next time? If there's a next time at all. Don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. I, 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 I want you to know that I, I want you to have a good time. Have fun, drink a couple of beers in our honor. I will, then. What are Stella's Christmas parties like? They're really big. There's lots of food and drinks and music. Sometimes there's too much food, though. So, at the end of the party, she lets the staff take home whatever is left. She also buys toys for all the children of her staff members. Really? She says something about taxes or whatever, but during the whole thing, she just shines. She carries a beaming smile that I don't see any other day of the year. Many of the kids have uh, even started calling her Auntie Ella. Huh? Stella always does her best to put up a tough. Ah. Oh, it took me much to be so Stella always does her best to put up a tough girl facade, but she's very much in touch with her inner child. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, name a party and she most likely celebrate it, it big. Interesting. Do you like parties, Chill? I don't buy them. They are a good place to see people. I'm not too actively look for parties to attend though. I just don't mind going to them. Ah, I see. I only go to parties that Sala is attending, because otherwise I would just stand there without anything to say. That and I'm not one to wear dresses, you know. You're not? I'm a tattoo ripped, they don't look cute on me. Although, with all this healing I have to do, I won't be as fit for a while. They're too um, breezy, too. I feel like I'm wearing nothing. But I bet you would look good in a dress, chill. It's been years since I last wore war on. <laughs> I wouldn't know. 
last time I wore one. Dieses Wort. I remember. <lacht> I remember war. <lacht> I remember what, 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 <lacht> Ich, ich, ich glaube, ich muss doch fliegen so an. I remember worrying my arms were too thin or something like that. Dude, meine Arme sind zu dünn und ich bin ein Kerl, Alter. Ich habe nichts dagegen, wenn Frauen dünne Arme haben, außer die sind wirklich magersüchtig, dass sie dann echt nicht schön aus, wenn man dann nur so einen Knochen zieht. Bäh. We all have a complex, huh? I mean, even Sarah has her own. That's hard to imagine. Oh, but she does have one. She distresses a lot about her bust size. Really? She's not that small. I think I'm, I'm smaller than her, in fact. Actually, it's the opposite. The opposite kind of complex, I mean. She's a bit self-conscious about having a big chest. Really? Again, I've seen bigger chests than hers, to be honest. Although, I guess comparisons are useless here. They rarely help with complexes. Well, she does go to extra mile to hide it. In fact, I have no idea how she does it. I mean, I've seen her before and after she tucks them away, but I guess I've never cared enough to ask the specifics. Specifics. That's also why when she goes out, she styles her hair in those, um... Trills? They look a bit trilly, don't they? She styles her hair like that to help divert attention away from her chest. She seems affluent enough, why not go through our reduction surgery? Because she also kinda likes having that size. She takes a bust size after her mom, and Miss Carmine is quite proud of her chest. Puffing out your chest is a sign of confidence, and a bigger chest means more confidence to show. She says something along those lines a lot. Stella has quite an admi admiration for her mom, so I guess breast reduction will feel like betraying her? Huh. I'm making it sound like she's hiding in J-cups or something like that. I guess in a taller or thicker person, her size would be normal. She's just a bit shorter or thinner than the norm. Do you get self-conscious about your bust size, chill? Not really. I feel more self-conscious about my high. Although, it usually comes up whenever not being average high is behind us me somehow. What about you? Yes, and... no. It's not my bust size, but rather that I look too manly sometimes. Ach, was siehst du denn so männlich aus? Also, <lacht> kurze Haare. Ah, das, solche Maskeln hat doch jede normal Geschäftsfrau, ne? Das ist ja total normal. Und er war es. Beyoncé hat ja, hat, ja, ich meine, hat doch, ja, da ist doch easy. And I can't help but wonder if bigger boobs would help with that. You're fine, don't worry. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? Ich hab was im Auge jetzt. Was geht denn ab? Hmm. Do you have something non-alcoholic? I do. Give me a second. Something non-alcoholic. Nix alcoholisch. Okay. Optional counter. Optional counter. Einfach nochmal eine Sunshine Cloud. Sparkle Star. Gib mir einen Sparkle Star. Easy. Großer Sparkle Star. Agent Mixed. Hier. Thanks. Äh. You're not one to drink that much alcohol, are you? It makes me feel sleepy or at the very least makes my legs go numb. It's an annoying feeling to be honest. It makes me wonder what's so good about getting drunk. I mean, I'm not a bobit, but it's not exactly a pleasure feeling. You feel like you're sleepy even when you're not. Your legs go numb, everything starts sounding funnier than it really is. What's so good about not being able to control yourself? That's a good question, actually. Usually people like feeling numb because that numbness helps them forget their problems. Even if you don't talk about alcohol, there's a portion of people that can't afford food or who are suffering from some pain that only alleviates when drunk or high. It doesn't sound really logical on paper, but then again, humans are rarely, if ever, logical creatures. 
Despair and pain cloud your judgment and makes you do stupid things sometimes. Yeah, I give that scene a first hand. This world has an ugly side nobody deserves to be a part of. Um, th th there's also a matter of addiction, you know. You start just liking the drink, but then you need more of it, and before you know it, you're hooked. Oh yeah, that too. So tell me, what kind of party are you guys from? Nothing fancy. It'll be just me, Boss, Gil, and a couple of regulars. They'll bring food, we'll chat for a while, and that's it. Man, that sounds so good. At least better than the whole planning madness Stella is throwing right now. If you ever throw something like that again, you let me know, you hear? Sure. Hey, say. Yeah? What do you plan on doing now? I gonna check on Lars Aran before going home. No, I mean, what do you plan on doing now with the White Knight suspended and all? To be honest, I, I don't know. I never prepared a plan B because I figured if you can, can go with a plan B, why not just make it the plan A? I'm not the brightest person, so never graduated from college or even high school. I could go for a position with the police, but it wouldn't be as thrilling. I'm tired of blatant corruption, sick of it. No. Oh. But I'm alive. I learned something after that hell in the Apollo Trust. Love is not something that you can just throw away easily. Clawing my way out of that place made me realize just how much I want to be alive. The body count left in the bank was ridiculous, but I'm still here. I don't know what I'll do, but I'm alive. I'll figure it out sooner or later. That's nice to know. Well, I gotta go. Bye, Joe. Good luck with the party. Please, come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi Mr. Detective. Oh, hey there girl. Give me a strong drink, won't you? Alright, something strong for Mr. De Detective. Perk something manly. Hmm. Fucking pile driver, hatten wir schon eine Weile lang nicht mehr ausgegeben. Machen wir einen großen Bruch. Ja, auch schon lange nicht mehr. Oder was heißt Here you go. Yes, this will do. So what brought you here? Nothing special. I'm just working on a case and I happen to be in the area. What kind of work? Tracking someone. A uh, gun for hire. What about a girl? Crimson something. I am tracking that girl. Didn't you just get out of that job? I did, but the guy offered a huge amount of money and, well, I just couldn't refuse again. Well, it's your life, not mine. I wonder though, there has to be more than the whole thing than just, <laughs> than just acting as middleman to look for some murderer. Huh. Say, how safe is this place? We are protected by the BTC property laws. The walls are soundproof. And I really couldn't give less of a shit about sending info to anyone. Okay, then wait, soundproof walls? Why? Did you see those vending machines outside? They are quite talkative, the bastards. It will be annoying without those walls. Alright then. Have you heard of Lord Lance Lavender? Nope. He's some big name from Ken Wa- Kaney? Kaneywania? Oh man. <laughs> His blood apparently has some weird reaction to Glitch City snell machines. Once in contact with the air, it does something. But if still fresh and touching someone's blood, the nano machines will initiate a reaction. Essentially, they just eat through the other person's body until there's nothing left. They're using him as a guinea pig to see what causes the reaction and if it could be used to fight nano machine rejection. Uh huh. Well, turns out the Crimson Rose is his daughter. She left years ago to learn her living here and he hasn't seen her ever since. He could be lying, you know. Doubt it. I did my research. She really is his daughter. 
why didn't you figure out that much earlier? Why, why didn't you figure that out earlier? I had no clue who was making the contract, and tracking all the messages to the source would have been too costly. Knowing who the sender was made things easier. I see. Can I get you anything else? Huh. What about a cobalt level? Okay, a cobalt level for Mr. Detective here. Wir haben schon äh, Mr. Donovan schon lange nicht mehr gesehen. Ich frage mich, was aus dem geworden ist. Ah. Ach komm, scheiß drauf, machen wir groß für den großen Buben hier. Hm? So schaut's aus. Okay. Rocks. Next. Bam. Here you are. Oh, you actually did it. Were you expecting me to mess up so you didn't have to pay? No. So what made you accept the contract anyway? Keeping in mind all the risk you told me last time. He told me he wanted to see her again one last time or at the very least deliver her message. He could have been lying. Yes, people lie. You made your point. Even then, I felt like I couldn't say no. I mean, I know what it's like not being able to find your daughter. What it's like to be apart from her, not knowing what she's doing, or even if she's alright. You do? I have a daughter, she's about your age. When she was a teen, we had a big fight and she ran away from home. At first I just waited for her to show up, but then I started getting worried and went out to find her. I couldn't find any trace of her, nobody had seen her. Soon I was worried if something might have happened to her. I guess that's how much my tracking skills and list of contacts began to grow. I finally found her, taking cover in some dumpster, unconscious from starvation. So, yeah, I just couldn't say no to his request of finding his daughter. But I don't expect you to understand. So, how's the search going? I'm very close to finding her. That girl's pretty good at covering her tracks. Compared to the, compared to her from, yes, compared to the her from before the bank incident, though she seems slower somehow. Either she's let her guard down, or something else is happening. What will you do when you find her? I have this letter I'm supposed to deliver to her. I don't know what it says, and I don't want to find out. What if she tries to kill you? I might not look it like it, but I can take care of myself, bartender. You don't stay you don't stay so long in this business without picking up a couple of tricks. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I better go back to work before her trail goes cold. Please come again. Are you done? Yeah. Okay then. I want you here tomorrow at 8 pm. No working beforehand. The bar will be closed tomorrow. Come dressed in your absolute best. We're having a party after all. Alright. Where's Gil, by the way? He stored all of our things in his home because of how close it was to the stores. So I told him to go home already and bring the stuff tomorrow. I see. Well, see you tomorrow, boss. Hold on, wait a bit and I'll go with you. Oh, sure, thanks. Ja, heute war wieder ganz gut Geld gemacht. I know the small party is what you need. <lacht> Flotte Service, Tipps. Ja, Alter. Uh, geht gut ab, Alter. Merry Mega Christmas. Let us go celebrate Santa's Resurrection. As the Mega Santa that saved Christmas from the Red Monster. <lacht> Sorry, immer wenn ich jetzt Me Merry Christmas sehe, dann muss ich einfach immer... Das machen was Japaner sagen. Merry Christmas! Ich finde das so witzig. Gut. Ähm, anscheinend muss ich nichts kaufen. Chill is happy. Und gibt sonst nichts. Gut. Dann würde ich sagen, speichere ich hier. Ach nee, warte, wir gucken natürlich zuvor. Was, was, was gibt's da? Oh, Kira Mickey. Mega Christmas is here. Bei Mickey. Was it Mega Christmas or Mega Christmas? No, no, don't care. <laughs> oh. 
cool. Augmented eye. Spooky. A bit, yeah. Lily were receiving mysterious messages. The messages have suddenly stopped and everything is normal again. Still, we can't stop wondering what's the deal. Was it a prank or someone who just discovered how to support public communication channels in Lilim? Oh. Das ist ja das, was wir heute beobachtet haben. Bei Dorothy und bei der einen anderen. Is it sexist to have an army of robot women? I'm pretty sure Ken Katie Rania went through the demilitarization before. Katie... Kanye Wania. Das klingt so, als würde Kanye West US-Präsident werden und öffnet sein eigenes Land. The King of the West, Kanye, from the Western Nation of Kanye Wania, has approximately 6,000 robot soldiers. Dude! <lacht> das ist eine offensichtliche Anspielung auf meine Vermutung. Alter. Das ist sehr witzig. Yoho Yori is the best show. Wanna watch it? Anime is for nerds. Mm -hmm. Sagt der Obernerd. Ja, ja, vibriere dich erstmal selber. If you weren't a fan of Yuri or Slice of Life shows already, then be prepared to join the Moy Church this season with two premiere of Yoho Yuri. <laughs> Das ist ein Anspiel auf Juru, Juru Juri, Alter. Weil ich liebe diese Sendung, Alter. In, bei, bei Juri Juri macht ja sogar die, äh, die Synchronsprecherin von Miku Hatsune mit, ne? Falls ihr es noch nicht wusstet. Ah, oh, es ist so witzig. Und zwar die, die immer Toshino Kyoko sagt. Das ist, das ist die Stimme von Miku Hatsune. Oh man, one of the funniest shows I've seen in recent years. The past at a popular danger you forum seems to divide it, however. This is such an obvious pandering. Remember when anime was about women doing womanly things and beating the shit out of other? What is this trash? You girls are just haters who hate their lives. <laughs> I'm going to marry Sheena too. <laughs> make, make me up inside. <laughs> Shit, Alter. Oh Mann. Ich finde, die Nachrichten sind jetzt. <lacht> oh Mann, die Nachrichten sind, sind wirklich witzig gerade. Alter. Das ist. Das, das war gerade zu gut einfach. Oh. <lacht> Wake me up in Zeit. <lacht> <laughs> oh man, Alter. <laughs> Kann es noch mehr Dank werden? Ich glaube nicht. Huh, wie lange habe ich jetzt gespielt? Ah ja, ja. Hä? Okay. Ich hab's verpennt. Egal. Oh, ich werde jetzt gleich die nächste Session aufnehmen. Aber wir werden uns erst in der nächsten Folge wieder sehen. Also, dann bis gleich.